Hola y'all, happy Tuesday. It's a beautiful day today. The weather is nice, it's been very cool. It's just a beautiful day. So, really enjoying this weather, this break in the heat. Just living the fall and the onset of fall. All right, I'm going into it. Second Thessalonians chapter one and verse four. So that we ourselves glory in you and the churches of God for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure. This is obviously the second letter to the Thessalonians. And they were having some trouble, the Thess Thessalonians. They were having some issues because they were enduring some tribulations and persecution. And because that tribulation and persecution was coming their way, they began to doubt whether they were doing the right thing whether they were on the right path. And so Paul, Saul Paul, catches wind of this and he writes them the second letter to encourage them. So my thoughts about this scripture, because he says, you know, your persecutions and your tribulations you're enduring, um, just stick it out, okay? Just stick it out. Persecution and tribulation are inevitable. The world hates God and hates light and therefore hates anyone that reminds them of it. Don't let that throw you off course. Stand firm in your faith. Sometimes I'm just going to speak from my perspective. Persecution is not really a word that's in my vocabulary very much. And I don't mean that in an arrogant way. I don't say that with any feelings in that direction. If anything, I feel bad because I know that other Christians in other countries and other parts of the world face severe discrimination and persecution. And so I tread lightly the life that I live, I cannot describe it in any way would persecution enter ever as of right now. Now, does that mean that I've been denied things because of my belief system? Probably. Have I been treated a certain way because of my belief system? Probably. Have people you know, maybe shunned me or not spent time with me or made a judgment call about me look based on my appearance? Probably. But I, in no form or fashion, can call that persecution. I just can't. Not especially when I look around at the world and people and know that people live in countries where if they are caught with a Bible, they would be murdered or if they profess to believe in God and profess to believe in Jesus that they would lose their homes and their families. They would lose their jobs. We don't, I say we, as a typical American, we don't feel that. Not yet. I'm not saying that we don't have little indiscrepancies here and there, that we aren't pressured to do whatever. So I'm talking to all of us, but I just want you to know that I don't want to give you my very American version of persecution because I, I just don't put myself in that boat. There are people who have really lived difficult situations for their faith. And I mean, like I said, I've had the tedious things and the disheartening things and, you know, maybe the inconvenient things, but I haven't lost my job because of my faith. Personally, I haven't lost my children. I haven't lost, you know, my life or anything like that. And I hope I never have to, but I also know that it's a part of it and that there are people in this world that have lost all those things and more because of their faith. So these Thessalonians are going through it and because they're going through it, they begin to worry Maybe we're not doing right. Maybe we've missed it. Paul's left us and, you know, maybe something, it's just not going well. But I'm telling you not to gauge your faith based upon your trial, excuse me, or your persecution. That it's not an indicator that you're on the wrong path. 
And in most cases, I would say it's probably an indicator that you're on the right path because the world and the enemy, they hate, they hate God. Evil hates light. So don't be surprised when they pressure you to either conform or they push you out. They ostracize you or they try to make you bend or break and demand that you bow. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego bow or go in the fire, like conform to our ways, believe our principles. Don't stand on your faith, but you must conform and bow to what we say. And if not, death is at the door. But that doesn't mean that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were wrong because persecution was headed their way. That didn't mean that Daniel was wrong because he decided to keep on praying three times a day and it landed him in a lion's den. That's persecution and that didn't, that was not an indication. That's not an indicator that what Daniel was doing was wrong. Come on. Him keeping his commitment and praying was not wrong. Him being faithful and keeping his dedication was not wrong, but persecution was headed his way. Of application, how am I gonna apply this scripture? Even if it means I lose something, I will stay with Jesus. It might cost me a job, it might cost me a friendship. It might cost me that promotion and opportunity, etc. But my faith is not for sale. And we must endure. So yes, if you're watching and you're in a place where you have to go to church in secret. You can't read the Bible openly. You can't Pray for people openly. You can't express your love and adoration for God openly. Or you would be thrown in jail or, God forbid, murdered. Just know to hold fast to your faith. That you're not doing anything wrong. It's just that darkness hates the light. And what that might look like in other places is, and that's why I listed off these things, is a more, in our area, is a more... Um, undercover way, right? Because we live in the land of the free, so we have freedom of religion and stuff. But there can definitely be a denial of you moving up in a company based on faith. Like, there's definitely can be moments of discrimination and, and persecution in that way. Okay? But we have to endure my connecting scripture is Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, and that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them. There will come a day when everybody is going to answer for what they did, for what they chose to do, for how they chose to conduct themselves in their life, but also for what they chose to do to other people. The Bible says that that's God's job. It's God's job to recompense. It's not our job. But he tells us over and over to not be surprised when the world treats you poorly because you love him. And that's what I'm talking about today. Treats you poorly because you love him. Don't be surprised by that. And don't let that be your indicator light. Like, oh no, I didn't get that job. Maybe... I uh, should stop what I'm doing. Maybe maybe I am a little too fanatical about Jesus. Maybe I should just quiet my face down. Maybe I should just go out for drinks with the boss and to get that promotion, even though that's not really how I live my life. Maybe I should do it this once. Maybe, no. Our faith is not for sale. Your faith is not for sale. You just stand strong. And what was meant for you, nothing can stop it. If it was meant for you, the Lord makes it happen. Nothing can stop what's meant for you. Last thing my kingdom thought is, bad is going to be promoted in the world. It's just gonna, that's just how it is. It's just gonna be promoted. The world is gonna give you more opportunities if you partake in their lifestyle. But I wrote, don't let that happen in the church. 
No. Let's not promote bad things in the church. Let's not promote darkness in the church. Let's not promote promiscuity in the church. Let's not promote compromise in the church. Let's not do that. But let's hold fast to our faith. Just like the Thessalonians. Paul said, you're good. Just stand strong. You're fine. Persecution's going to come. Tribulation's going to come. But you just stay and you stand. Because that's just part of it. But it doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. You didn't deviate from the path. It's just a part of the straight and narrow. Persecution, unfortunately, is a part of standing for God. Because we are opposed to the world. But just keep standing. See you tomorrow.